FluoRender, an interactive visualization tool for multi-channel confocal microscopy data in neurobiology research. Basic Operations In this video, we show the basic operations of our confocal visualization tool. First, we open three volume channels from a confocal data set and wait for the channels to be loaded. The loaded volume data is now listed in the data view. Next, we add all three channels to render view one. Their colors are assigned automatically according to the order in which they are added. Next, we rotate the view to check the rendering quality. The default rendering mode is layered mode, but we can quickly switch the rendering mode to depth or composite. Next, we set each volume's transfer function settings. We can adjust boundary extraction, low and high thresholds, gamma, and offset. These adjustments produce a better visualization of the volume data set. When everything is done, we can save the project, including all parameter settings. When we open the saved project later, we see exactly the same rendering and perspective. Depth Queuing and Shading In this video, we show how we use depth queuing and shading effects to visualize the overall and local features of a volume dataset. The loaded channel shows all the cell nuclei in the zebrafish head. We can rotate the view to see how applying depth queuing helps to reveal the shapes of structures, like the eye and brain regions. We can adjust the degree of depth queuing to optimize the visualization. Next, we can see how shading effects can enhance the visualization of small surface structures. Embedding Polygon Data In this video, we show how to use polygon data for defining subregions and displaying them in different colors. This dataset shows retinal ganglion cells which connect from the eye to the brain. We then load the polygon data that represents the eye region into the view. We use the trim command to separate the volume data into interior and exterior subvolumes using the polygon data in the same view. Next, we can independently set volume properties such as display color for the interior and exterior volumes. By rotating the view, we can visualize the border where the bundle of optic nerve fibers exits the eye. Here you can see the fibers change from green to yellow.